Aloha, Malale, Bulai, and welcome to Season 5, Episode 18 of Breakfast Bites by TevoVoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People Sports on a bright and sunny Wednesday morning, 19 April 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Once upon a T-I-M-E, go Pepperoni! Thank you, girls. In Rugby Union, our world-famous Super Rugby Pacific Tips for this weekend... The Fijian draw to Fabuloso, the Chiefs in Hamilton on Friday. The Crusaders to Axion, the Rebels. The Blues to Ajax, the New South Wales Waratahs at Eden Park. And the Highlanders to Janola, the Forts, wherever they're playing. In Rugby League, Cowboy star Jason Tamololo is expected to spend up to six weeks on the sideline after he undergoes knee surgery tomorrow. The club has confirmed that Tamalolo suffered a knee cartilage injury earlier in the season, but it, it had uh, until now reached the point where surgery was required. And NRL Round 8 games, Rabbitohs versus Panthers, Thursday 7.05pm uh, at Echo Stadium, and Friday 8pm, the Eels versus the Broncos in Darwin. On Saturday... We see the um, Bulldogs versus the Sharks at 5.30 p.m. at Echo Stadium. And the Cowboys versus the Knights at 7.35 p.m. in Townsville. In football, watch out for the UEFA Champions League quarterfinals deciders today with Chelsea under Frank Lampard at Stamford Bridge, hosting 14 times and defending champions Real Madrid plus Italian giants Napoli. Clash with Milan, who must be distracted by being up for sale. Only in America and only in boxing. WBA lightweight world champion Javonta Davis at 28-0 with a remarkable 26 knockouts. And challenger Ryan Garcia at 23-0 with 19 by KO. Are all in for this weekend's 12-round super fight at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. With the American duo, both so confident of victory, they are both willing to lay down their entire guaranteed earnings of US $2.75 million in a winner-take-all bet over the result. In sports biz, Andrea Randrizani is considering a bid for Inter Milan, valued at US $1.1 billion by Bloomberg. Radrizani owns 56% of EPL club Leeds, and a bid for Inter Milan could be contingent on him selling his stake in Leeds to the San Francisco 49ers NFL team, which already owns 44% of Leeds. The only spanner in the works is that Leeds are struggling in the EPL drop zone, and if they get relegated, this deal goes down with them. We finish today with the usually staid sport of snooker, where Just Stop Oil activists brought the uh, Snooker World Championship to a halt in a dramatic invasion, with a 32-year-old man climbing onto a table and covering it with orange paint powder, while a 52-year-old woman attempted to glue herself to the table but was stopped by the referee in Sheffield, England on Monday night before they were both removed by security and arrested by South Yorkshire police. Games were immediately suspended with the players leaving the arena to return later to resume play to a standing ovation from the crowd. What is unclear at this time is whether the protesting couple are married or whether the old lady was just doing it to impress her grandchildren. <laughs> For TableOverSports.com, I'm Kaldan Kabir. Mahalo, Vinaha. And thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all to Mars for all your love and support. That's the E-N-D. Go Pepperoni! Thank you too, Leah.